there are many important you know pillars to creating a positive culture many i'll start with the most important one and that is you if you're the head of this organization business or not business government or whatever social entity you as a ceo as a president as a department head you are the head of the pyramid when it comes to your entity your actions your behavior will play a large large role in determining the culture of the organization because people will mimic you you set the standard so if you want to create a positive culture in your organization start with yourself act in a way that creates that culture become the embodiment the representation of the culture that you want to create act in a way that represents your wish for all your employees or team to act accordingly so you become the example make it your way of telling your people directly or indirectly do what i'm doing on all aspects because if you start preaching you know whatever certain uh, wishes values whatever that is but acting in a different way guess what will happen they will end up following the way you act rather than what you say number one number two you lose credibility and why do you want to do that so always remember as the head of the pyramid head of the department president ceo whatever it is the way you act whether you like it or not will determine the culture of the organization if you have a family you know that the way the father and the mother act that will determine the culture of the organization the other thing is what set of values you're actually not just stating but rewarding you see because you can have so many values you can have the brilliant you know set of values five or six values integrity trust collaboration cooperation with whatever it is whatever it is truthfulness professionalism whatever it is and you can frame them and put them in the corridors in the offices you whatever it is you can do what will matter is what values you will reward do you reinforce because people will take signals from that they will see whatever you're enforcing right that will be the message to them that this is important to you and because people want reward and people want recognition they will start mimicking those values so that they also get the reward and when you reward reward generously and we re reward publicly because it's a message that you're sending to everybody in the organization that this is the kind of behavior that we want and that will create the culture because behaviors create culture mindset creates culture and mindset usually are translated into behaviors you see so choose the values that you want that are key for the culture that you want to create and reward them publicly and generously to emphasize the point now you have to also do the other side of the coin when anybody sort of violates the boundaries of these key values make sure that you're absolutely strict that they know that and don't be lenient with that don't be flexible because you're sending a message if you do that that they can get away with it absolutely no so strictly reward and generously reward publicly and also strictly whatever discipline people of course professionally and within the limitations of whatever is ethical and professional and moral you know so re punish or or reprimand or whatever coach with also with strictness and on the spot don't let it drag so that it's not diluted always reward publicly on the spot and whenever you can reprimand or correct do corrective behavior on the spot preferably not publicly preferably but sometimes sometimes underline sometimes you might decide based on careful thinking that you want to do it publicly also let's say in a large meeting somebody crossed certain lines now they crossed it publicly right so what do you do you have to set the record straight you know you have to draw back the boundaries you know in a clear way in front of everybody else so that they get the message 
because if you don't do that then the indirect message to everybody else is that you know it's okay if they behave like this because you seem to be okay with it you didn't react you see so these are some of the main pillars let's say of doing what of creating a positive environment of course also hiring the right people is also important because you don't want to get bad apples so make sure when you hire people hire people as per the values that you know you have in your in your organization as the fundamentals of your you know of this group of this team of this entity so also hire the right people make sure that there's no conflict in personalities because if there are then it's you're going to you know suffer it's going to be very hard to change people's hearts and mindset and personalities and it's not your job so don't put yourself in that position so do these three things make sure that you represent the culture that you want to create make sure that you reward the values that you want you know to see that they are emphasized and also you reprimand and correct uh, whenever they are broken or violated and make sure that you know when you hire people hire people who are sort of compatible with your set of values